Hey YouTube, what's going on, my boss? Y'all know what's going on. We got Suns at Rockets. Now, let me tell y'all why I've been gone a few days. For one, I was gonna wait till New Year's to officially start being consistent way more. Cause you know I've been having to take a mental break from this shit. Especially on top of that, my team was losing. I know it's a lot of people that want my opinions on how we looking right now, and we're gonna get into that today. So expect this video to be a little longer. If you just want to get straight to the highlights, you can, you know, seek through and go straight to when I'm watching the highlights. But we're going to talk about a few things first. We're going to look at the stats first, right? So, first of all, we're going to talk about how Yudoka Azubuke got the most playing time out of everybody so far. Now, let's just get straight into the website real quick. Let's go. Anyway, let's get to the stats now. We got Yudoka Azubuke with... God damn, y'all seen what he did last game. I don't know if y'all know what he did last game, but last game he dropped 11 and 11. So, right now, today he dropped, how much he dropped? He dropped, uh, where's points at? 11 points, and he had five rebounds, if I'm not mistaken. And three of them was offensive rebounds. I was looking at it earlier. Yep, three offensive rebounds and two defensive rebounds with two blocks to go with. Now, we're going to get into a few other stars tonight, but Yudoka Azubuke is the biggest game changer that Phoenix asked for, like, He's a sleeper. You know how every team has an X factor. Every team has a, uh, like a Jordan Poole to the Golden State. How when Curry went down, Jordan Poole was the X factor for them. How Jalen Brunson was the X factor for the Mavs, even though they didn't win. He brung, you know, what I'm saying he held it down while Luka was gone. Um, it's a few people. Bruce Brown on the Denver Nuggets. It, you, every championship team need that sleeper that just come out of nowhere and just do what we need. Like, like no questions asked. Azubuke, if you watch him play, he play with nothing but energy. I love every time he get a bucket. Ah, he he got his arms up. He pointing at the bench. He talking his shit like, and he ain't disrespectful about it either. He just saying like, I got you. Like I done read his lips a few times, and he just walking up to KD like, I got you. I got you. I know what y'all need. That type of player you need on your team. No ego. No, not, no nothing. Just pure, I want to help the team be better. I don't care what my stats look like. I don't care what I got to do. I just want to help my team look better. So, now let's get into Eric Gordon. Because he played against his ex-team, Houston Rockets. Yeah, I know. Every, I heard the announcer say, every time he put up a shot, the Houston fans hold their breath. <laughs> because they know how much he done did for them. Like, they know how much of a threat he is from beyond the arc. Now... EG finished the game shooting 10 for 15, 66% field goal, shooting 7 from 11 from the 3-point percent line. 27 points with an 11 plus minus, even though I don't pay attention to this plus minus bullshit. But he had 27 points. EG, damn near 30 ball on his former team. Along the go with KD's 27, triple-double. Do y'all understand that everybody on the Suns is clicking? This is what we can look like when everybody's clicking. And let's not forget we got Bradley on the way. This is what we can look like when everybody's clicking and Bradley Beal's involved. Imagine Eric Gordon coming off the bench being capable of this, y'all. Like, this is Eric Gordon's starter caliber. Like, he's a he got starter caliber. He's not a typical bench player. But because there's so much star talent on his team... He's going to have to come off the bench. Now, let's get into Nurk. Nurk did not have more minutes. The starting center did not have more minutes than our third backups, our third string of center. Now, I don't know if that's a good thing to say or a bad thing to say uh, cap space-wise, but I'm so happy that Udoka is getting playing time, and I hope it holds up because I know it's a business, and I know they don't play certain people because the business happened. It's Cam Thomas last year when he dropped 40 back-to-back. -back. I get it. But um, who else we got? We got Devin Booker. Devin Booker didn't have his most efficient game. But we know that's Booker. He going to get his 20. He going to get his 25. He going to have an off night. Even his off nights is certain people's best nights. So we ain't going to do too much on Booker. But he still ended up with 20. He had uh, four turnovers, which is, yeah, he could he could work on that. Two steals. One thing about, I, I've been telling my friends, Booker been playing defense, especially the steals. Especially the steals. He's taking them shits. Like I watch, if you ever watch the games, Booker, like he, he builds a wall. And as soon as he sees the perfect opportunity, he goes straight for the border reach. Okay, who we got next? Uh, Josh Okogie off for of two. I think he needs to come off the bench, to be honest. I think we should be just fine with Grayson as our fifth starter. Like, I don't like Okogie, so I think we should keep him on the bench for now. Um, yeah, everybody else, you know, was calm. Met Metu, I forgot about Metu. He had a crazy game last game. 
19 and 23, if I'm not mistaken. 23 points and 19 rebounds. Crazy stat line. Yo, I'm telling you, it's so much talent. Saban Lee's getting burned. I'm loving the playing time Saban Lee's getting now. Like, yeah, it's, <laughs> like this team, 1 through 15, like, just look at this roster. It's not one person on this roster I want gone. And if I had to pick one, I will most likely pick, I can't even pick Okogi, but just because of his liability offensively, there's nobody else that I will remove from this roster. I love our team. I just feel like we got to learn how to gel more. And let's not even talk. Let's see if uh, the video is on HD. Oh, yeah. KD, now, let's get into the reaction, y'all. I watched this game live. You know, we're going to pause a few times, get straight into it. I told you at the beginning, this might be a little longer video. Because we're going to break down, and I've been going a little while, you know what I'm saying? So, we're going to break it down. And we're going to get into it, especially a little. We're going to mix in a few from last game. One of the most prolific scores ever. He has averaged over 26 a game in his career against the Rockets. The Suns have it. Shooting the ball lights out. Yep. 45%, number eight in the association for the elbows. Jalen Green. Jalen Green. Jalen Green was in the NBA arena. This arena at 2 p.m., they said. 2 p.m. with a shooting trainer, a shooting coach. And he made the Phoenix Suns pay for it. That's all we're going to say. First. Put up some good numbers opposite Devin Booker. Jalen Green sees the stars. You know, he, he's ready to play. And you know how to get to that rim, too. Yep. The best of looks as the Rockets were playing deep into the shot clock there. Eric Gordon again penetrating. And he is it works because he's so much of a threat shooting that much you got to play up and he's going to get an easy layup. Here's the three by Nurkic. And he is able. He got Big Nurk knocking out threes. Yo, exactly this was a beautiful game. Goes at him. I don't know how he had much of an can't stop there, but he got the shot up and in. Point guard, one's a, a, a wing, so that's off to the Thompson family. Azubuke. And one. And the shot goes in for Yudoka. There go my Azubuke. African brother right there. I'm worried that he might be looking to get back at it here tonight. He's averaging over 30. Which is the second highest point total of his career is Grayson, you in that third quarter last game, my brother. That done woke they don't woke up Grayson. At the same time we don't woke up Grayson, we got Azubuke. At the same time we got Azubuke, we got Eric Gordon. Oh, everybody's clicking at once. I'm loving it. Grayson had ten in this first quarter. Oh my this god. Allen works for the lane for two. The shot I thought it was gonna be with Grayson's up. night again. He's, he's too good. That that little elbow jumper is gonna like be Adam. money for him with his ability to jump. And then Allen. He realized nobody coming to save us. He had 32 against the Mavs on Christmas. The leaner, Van Fleet, and it goes down. All right, Rockets desperately needed that bucket. Good job getting a stop. Josh Kogi also out there for the Suns. Another drive by Allen, and it goes down, plus the foul on Holiday. So I thought it was going to be another Grayson well, night, yeah. Was there the previous three years. Eason to Green for two. There you go, Rockets trying to grab some momentum. I still can't believe Denver let go of Bruce Brown and Jeff Green. And the Rockets finally get one to go. There you go. Talk about needing the outside shooting from the Rockets. This Justin time. Holiday did his thing this game, too. Away. Listen, if Kevin, Kevin, oh, look, look at Eric George. Going at right at Alpine. You got to know Eric can't really hold the ball that way. Well. He's taking it from NBA players, man, he just consistently. Picked up, just picked up the foul. Durant to Gordon. Nas Little. With the drop off. Upstairs with it. Five rebounds and six assists as well. He's only taken one shot. And the Rockets turn him over. That's a lazy turnover I've seen in the game. I was like, Nurk, what was that? Like, what are you doing? Look at this. Six assists. First of all, even if the pass was to get off, you got him right here. That's not smart basketball to throw the ball this high. I know KD seven foot, but come on. Unless he's unless you on a wing and KD's in a corner, that would make a little more sense because nobody can help. But that's not a good pass. As well, he's only taken one shot. The Rockets turn him over as they try to go to Durant. Here's Whitmore in the open floor, and he's good to score. Well, Cam Whitmore, we know he can score in bunches. And then he just let him and score the layup away right after. By Lee, who races the other way, attacks Van Fleet, who provided. Durant Saban had a good game too. The, the thing I just don't like game. about Nurk is he played with fat ankles. But he don't move his ankles fast enough. Field again, the sniper. The heave, and this time it goes down. Sniper. He, he, he's still hot. You can see it by the way he's moving on the floor. Durant now looking for his, and he gets it with the slam. 
stepped in with confidence, man. He tore his Achilles, Locked too, y'all. To I'm going to remind y'all every time. Four, three. Boy, did the Rockets need that. You can see the work that Jalen came and put in to pay it off. Booker in the paint. Even an off game with Booker is a, is a great game for somebody else. And another mid ranger by Booker. It's what it, it wasn't really an off game for him, though. He just wasn't he his best. Down low, Look at this. Well, power dribble goes up with it and got fouled. Fantastic play there by Azabuki. Look at him. Look at that man right there. Rollick ass nigga. Needs Move. Well, power dribble goes up with it and. Got Too easy. Fantastic play there by Azabuki. He lit a fire into the team. I'm telling you. Block inside of five. Green defended by Booker. Got to get up a shot. He does a deep three. Just as the horn. That's what shooting two two two, two p.m. in the arena look like. Finds Gordon. He's open. That was a court. crazy pass. <laughs> crazy like shot. So many years here in Toyota Center. Man, is he shooting it well. What a listless first half by usual Rocket standards. Van Fleet pressuring Durant. Passes to Gordon. Launches a deep contested three over Smith and makes it again. EG, bro. World, the kick, the extra. I'm not going to lie. I don't even know what I'm going to title this video. Udoka lit a fire under this team. KD triple double. EG with like who, who what do I title this somebody comment a better title I'll probably change it. I'll probably put a weak title up because it's like I don't even know what's the most catchy title they all went crazy Van Vliet, back to Smith wide open can it I just put the whole Suns team is clicking or Yudoka Asabuki Three ball, green, his best offensive. That half. net sound is so beautiful. Good news for the Rockets <laughs> is there's plenty of time left, and the fourth quarter has not begun yet for the Suns. And the fourth quarter has been a bit of a problem for them this season. Over the top to Booker, that was easy. way too easy. That's the chemistry building right there. Yeah, not a whole lot of ball nor man movement here for the Rockets. Green that was tough. And hits. Nurkic, when he's played again, he's missed the last couple of games. Actually, they just gave, they switched the foul to Van Fleet, so Van Fleet picked it up. But Nurkic has been out the last couple of games for personal reasons. But when he's played, he has dominated the glass. Green working on Allen, stepping back. Three ball. Pure. That boy Jalen Green was cooking, I'm telling you. To pick it off, and Jabari Smith is hurt. Not joining the Rockets on this end of the floor as Shen Goon scores. There you go, but that's the Rockets defense scrambling, hustling. Oh, you got Van Vliet attacking, Shen Goon short rolling, and then a wide open Jalen Green. Jalen's going to end up making more of those shots than he misses. Good basketball there. Durant though. from Sniper. the mid range. And I don't even know how Jabari got hurt. Van Vliet to Shen Goon, the world, the step back. He's too good. Good stuff there by Alfred. He's too good. Oh, Myers. <laughs> How about the Grizzlies undefeated? Hey! Oh, oh my goodness! Shin go with a monster. KD should have been there to catch that pass though. There. Right there. So. Holiday. Shin Goon. Four three. I did not think that was going in when I was watching. I'm telling you. Rockets winning the quarter. Have woken up here. Booker. Easy. I'm tell you. He gonna get his no matter what kind of game he having. Bogey's a good defender. Yes, he is. Saw him. Several years ago against James Harden when he was with Minnesota. Had a real good game against Harden up in Minneapolis. Hooker with a catch. He spun around Tate as well. I thought well. they were going to walk this uh, lead down. Long two. Hooker. Until I started seeing shit like right. this at the end of the third. Well, you get, you're, so, yeah, we good. You pretty good at it, weren't you? Yeah, third in the state in California. I said we good. <laughs> Acquiring Durant from Brooklyn in February. Beat the Clippers in five of the first round. Lost in six to the... Eventual champs, the Denver Nuggets in the Western Conference semis. It's Tariq, 100 entering play tonight. First time since they were under 500 this late in the season. Since they uh, were 11 back in 2019. Okay, they've had a lot of success. Cam Whitmore in the corner. Knocks that boy Whitmore was hooping. I can't hate. Suns are here tonight. They are here tonight. Holiday to Landale for the flood. Let's talk about Jack. See, Jock Landale, what he did for us in Phoenix in the playoffs. Thank you, Jock. Even if we lost, you are you are a big reason why we took Denver to six games. 
because DA couldn't. DA gave up on us. Thank you. That's all I got to say. Dan Eric, one of my favorite guys has ever played here. Whitmore got another one. His second three, his third make of the game. Turn around. At the shot clock horn, good for little. From the Rockets. The Rockets need to be playing games with the final score is more times than not under 110. Kevin Durant has a losing all time record again. Wow. Whitmore lines it up. Number three in terms of. Tap is won by the Suns. And that is vintage Kevin Durant along the baseline. Vintage Kevin Durant. You heard him. This was just crazy. Look at Alburn. Look at Alburn Sangoon. I knew. I remember this play. I was like, look at Sangoon reaction. Just look. Sangoon is right here. You see my mouth. This is where he at right here. Just watch his reaction. Gordon, good look from Booker and Eric Gordon. Now seven. Like, how many times he done shot? We still ain't doubling. March weather should be. Wow. And this is. Oh, oh my goodness. That was nasty. The Suns quite aware. Their whole bench stood up cheering. This guy's incredible. Okay. Save <laughs> this game is over with. We got Bobo minutes. It's always fun to see Bobo on the court. <laughs> but hey, man, y'all know what's going on. I think I think this is what helps Phoenix turn the ship around, right their ship. I feel like Azubuke lit a fire under this team. I feel like his energy is bleeding through everybody. Um, I feel like, uh, who else? Eric Gordon is starting to click. Grayson Allen finally is starting to understand what his role is on this team. This team is building an identity, something that we haven't had all season. Even during our seven-game win streak, we was clicking, but that was book facilitated most of the shit that make people look better. But now it's like even with or without book, these guys know what they need to be doing. You know what I'm saying? They're not just waiting in one spot for the ball. They're not just in the wrong position. Everybody's where they're supposed to be. Everybody's clicking. And this is the product of it. And we only in December, thank God. Bradley's not back yet either. So this is going to be looking even better when we got Bradley. Like, this team is just beautiful. The 1 through 15, I'm going to say it again. I personally feel like we have the best roster in the NBA on paper. Yesterday, I'm not biased because yesterday I was saying we don't look like a championship team. I'm done talking about championships. But today is like, if we can keep this up, we are definitely a champion title contenders. But let's take it one one game at a time. I ain't going to do too much uh, hope and wishing. You know what I'm saying? I'm only judge what I see. And I'm not going to do too much talking. You know, we going to... We back, you know what I'm saying? We're going to react to more videos. And y'all got to let me know with y'all teams because I be wanting to do reactions for y'all teams. I don't want to react to every single game if my supporters is not subscribed to that chan this channel yet. You know what I'm saying? But, hey, drop your team, and I'll react to them, give my insight on it. And we're going to end this video on that note. Let me know what y'all think. Hit that like button for me. Please hit that subscribe button and drop a comment for your boy if you feel like it. And I'm going to see y'all in the next video. Let's go.